Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is my latest draft video for the new 2023-2024 season and without further ado, we'll just get right into it. So as I said in my last video, I had three goalkeepers on my mind that is Pickford, Ramster and the United goalkeeper that means it most probably will be Onana but if we get Ramsdale and Onana we deprive a chance of get, getting a triple up on those that is Arsenal and Man United assets so I think right now Pickford is the best choice to go for so I'm going with him again so his fixtures are pretty good up till game week I think 14 then he has in 15 he has Newcastle and 16 he has Chelsea and till game week 50, 14 he has only Liverpool away in game week 9 Arsenal home in game week 5 so only two red fixtures so I think he's the best choice and uh, Everton are the best uh, team to go for defensive wise in those lower bracket teams so I'm going with Pickford and on my bench it's going to be Ariola. so there's a chance as I said in my last video that Ariola keeps his place in the starting 11 for West Ham United at the start of the season ahead of Fabianski so I'm probably taking chances of him he's only priced at 4.0 million and if he starts it will be great for us FPL owners so moving into defense this time around I've gone with three at the back I've gone with Shaw Gabriel and Trent Alexander-Arnold and Botman I've brought in Botman and it will be Bell from Luton Town and I am not that knowledgeable about the promoted teams i don't have a clue about anyone playing from them i just know that bell starts for them so i've gone with him he's the cheapest option at 4.0 million and then talking about Trent alexander arnold i don't think so i need to justify my choices even though liverpool don't have that great run of fixtures if uh, at the, some point uh, in the season if Trent alexander arnold moves into the midfield i think he will be a great asset as a defender for fpl he's on set piece duties he's on free kicks and if he moves in midfield his chance creation will increase but i don't think at the start of the season he will i think he still will play at right back and i think he will provide those uh, create those attacking chances that he always does and i between him and salah i think if you had to choose one i think i sh we should go for trent alexander arnold and if he moves to midfield i think he will be the best fpl asset this season then i've gone with uh, Shaw instead of Estupinian. I had Estupinian in my last draft, but this draft I've gone with Shaw as I think the long term, looking long term, I think Man United have better run of fixtures. And if Man United sign a couple of players, I think they are a way better team than Brighton defensively. And also, if a Man United stri uh, sign a star striker, I think Shaw will get a couple of assists this season. He puts in nail biting crosses for the number nines for Man United, but as there is a no out and out striker who knows how to hit the ball i think shaw is depriving of assists for the last two or three seasons so i think if man united sign a striker i think he's gonna be one of the top chance creators and assist creators this season so that's all de that all depends upon a good number nine then i've gone with gabriel i think i said in my last video white is priced lower i think white is priced higher than gabriel he, though he's an out and out uh, uh, white player that is a right back or we can say a full back i think gabriel at five million cheaper is a good choice he gets some points that he scores some headers on set pieces and he's a regular starter for arsenal so I think he and Saliba are the nailed on picks on that center back position. So I'm going with Gabriel just because he's not get injured that quickly or that he plays most of the minutes. So I've gone with him. I hope he gets some attacking returns, gives some attacking returns. And as you can, as you know, Arsenal and along with Everton and also Man United have great run of fixtures. So I think a triple up on Arsenal is necessary at the start of the season. So I've gone with one defender from their choice from their side and then i've gone with botman so actually newcastle don't have that great run of fixtures but i have always i mostly am going to play with three at the back i've got him because in game week four and game week five he has great fixtures and after that also he has great run of fixtures so only newcastle don't have good fixtures in first three and i don't need actually the fourth defender uh in my first three fixtures so i've gone with botman i think at 4.5 
5 million if ignore those first three fixtures i think botman is a really a great pick and newcastle are a really great defense and he's a mainstay in their center back position and he also gets loads of bonus points if because he has a high uh, pass completion rate so i think he's a great player to own then moving on to the midfield i've gone with back uh, fire in the middle i've gone with saka mitomo odegaard bruno and grilish so uh, martinelli actually has better stats than saka and odegaard but i think there will be rotation up front in arsenal as they have europe and other cups to play for this season i don't think they will solely be focusing on premier league like they did last season so i think there will be a quite a bit rotation i think the safest peak from among them is odegaard then it's saka and then it's martinelli so i prefer odegaard as is cheap uh, cheaper i think he's priced at 5 8.5 million along with saka and martinelli is a bit cheaper a at 8 8.0 million but i prefer odegaard as he is the captain he is the set piece taker and saka is on pens but i think he is the second most nailed on after odegaard uh, nailed on in terms of minutes i think odegaard play will play more minutes i think both will start mostly all the games but odegaard will get more minutes than saka and there will be a bit rotation uh, unlike last season in this arsenal team this season so i think saka and odegaard are the ones to go for then i've gone with bruno fernandes instead of rashford i think he's priced at 8.5 0.5 million cheaper uh, 0.5 million cheaper and uh, 8.5 million midfielder man united midfielder who has pens i think he's a must have at the start of this season as i've said man united have great run of fixtures and i do prefer him over rashford we don't know how man united dynamics play will play out will they get a number 9 or uh, another wide player but i think he is a regular starter he'll start every single game he rarely gets injured he's on bench he's on set piece duties and with a striker or any attacking player up front or in the side with i think he's he has created most chances last season and i think he'll continue to do so and the uh, arrival of mount won't affect his minutes to that extent so i think He's the nailed on pick and he's the best fit for Man United attacker you can go for. So I go on with him. Then I have gone with Grealish. So there's a choice to be made as I've said in the last video between Grealish and Foden. But I prefer still prefer uh, Grealish at the start of the season, even though it will it is not that that he'll be fit or not. We'll see that in the preseason. He has partied a lot, but uh, I think he will be fit. He's a top professional, and I think he starts the season growing, and I think he continues where he left off last season. So I've gone with him. Then it's Mitomo. I don't think he's a nailed on pick in my team. There's another options like BMO or even I have 0.5 million in my bank. I could upgrade him to Mount too. So BMO is on the books but mitomo played 70% of the last season great he had great uh, attacking numbers on his back i prefer him or others but they right now but there is chance that i go for bmo as i said earlier then moving on to the attackers i've gone with a surprise pick in dominic calvert lewin i think dominic calvert lewin suits the everton style if he stays fit under shan dice and if he stays fit i think he get a couple of goals i think he's priced at 6.2 million which is way cheaper and given the everton game of runs i think going with a, a one nailed on striker and the other who is priced at 6.2 is, is a good way to go other choices were watkins and gabriel jesus but i prefer the other three options from arsenal rather than gabriel jesus there's a chance that i can go for watkins but i'm not sure right now i've gone with calvert lewin i prefer a punt on him right now and this gives me opportunity to spend more in midfield so that's why i've gone with him i back him if he doesn't play well in first two three three games i think there's botman to come in instead of him then obviously i have ariola mcatee and bale i won't say much about them but this is the right this is the starting 11 this is the second draft that i've gone with i pre pretty much like this draft there's a chance that five to six players of these are nailed on picks and obviously holland will be my captain bruno uh, vice captain so do let me know what you guys think of this draft in the comment section below and also follow us on instagram at fpl football fanatic i'll be rating your draft there and if there are uh, there's a uh, loads of drafts on there i will be rating some of them on here on youtube so dm me those on instagram and i'll see you in the next one good luck